Hi, welcome to Sid's Tips. Hope you're having a great day. And today, looking forward to sharing with you about AquaTrue's two countertop reverse osmosis systems. We have the classic with and without connect, meaning having access to your the system, seeing how everything's running through the app. You can certainly go without that. If you want to save a little bit of money, you've got everything right here on the display. So that is the classic. And then you have the carafe. The carafe uses a carafe for the system. The classic uses a spout. So something to think about. And you can always, if you go with the classic, you can get yourself like a, a glass uh, pitcher like I have here, a carafe uh, as well. And this is a nice option. So I'll put a link to that one. So you got uh, both options to go with. Then you also have the option to go with and without minerals uh, for one of the filters. And so initially the VOC carbon filter, and it is a four part system, uh, force filter system. Uh, I did initially uh, go with the regular VOC carbon filter, but then I switched it out on the connect unit with the mineral boost. And I'll talk about that as well. We'll do a little taste test. So look forward to diving there and you know, you'll have a bigger capacity uh, for the water. Let's talk about the uh, tank sizes. So as far as the classic with and without the connect, the tap water tank holds about a gallon of water and the clean water tank holds about three quarts of purified water. The carafe has a 2.5 liter uh, tank for tap water and then you've got the 64 ounce carafe pitcher. Now it does have on top here because it's going to use the system where it's got the hole so the water drains in there. So that is kind of cool, but do know that's exposed. Now, as far as tanks, let me just show you. Uh, so when you take the tank off, it also should give you an indicator there, um, which does light up. So you could see there uh, how that does give you the indicator, but these are the, the tank sizes for both. So that will uh, show you there. Now, as far as the filter, since I've got this off and I want to show you back here, let me just spin this around. So the, for the classic or with the connect behind here on the side, the door is where the filters are. This is the filter system. For the carafe, you have, you can see it's back here. It does have a key for removing those filters, but everything's right back there. Easy access to have with the system. And then also you have all your indicators right here up uh, on top here. You can reset the filters. You have the light indicators here. The, the red light is on indicating that the the uh, filter, the, the water, the tap water tank needs to be replaced. It gives you an indicator there. It also does make a beep when it lets you know that you need to uh, refill it up. And then it also has a purification light. So it gives you the indicator as well. They're generally pretty quiet. They're, they're uh, actually, let me go ahead and just show you here real quick. So that's the filters uh, for the unit there. So everything's right on the side. There's no key that you need. Um, and it is just running back through the process. All right, so it's purifying it because probably because I took the door off. So now as far as the uh, other things to uh, think about as well is space. So this one is a little bit more narrow than this one, but they, they both should fit on the counter in most of the same areas. Uh, as far as the indicator for the system, one thing also which I thought was interesting was it does give you the indicator with a beep noise when you need to replace the tank uh, for more tap water, but it doesn't give you an indicator. So if I'm putting the, the pitcher on, it starts working right away. It says purifying on top. It doesn't give you an indicator um, with a beeping noise when it's full. If the tank empties out and and it's purifying or it's it's putting into the carafe, then it will beep. So something there to think about. The other thing as well is, let's just say you uh, reach that point where it needs to add more tap water. There will be some tap water still in the tank and you're gonna need to spill it out because that's what the recommendation is. So you don't wanna pour more water into the tank and then have a filter. So you wanna make sure to pour that out. So there will be a little wasted water, something to think about. Uh, I mentioned about the key. Now let's just talk about the systems 
Uh, the, they're both a four stage filtration system. AquaTrue's patented ultra reverse osmosis technology is certified to remove contaminants, including lead, chlorine, fluoride, nitrates, and more. Uh, it does have the four stages. Uh, so it's got a pre and carbon filter. It then has the reverse osmosis filter and then the VOC carbon with and without the minerals. So uh, again, you can get the minerals uh, with the system it generally, unless it's out of stock. Uh, also, it is certified to NF, NSF standards to remove contaminants, including lead, arsenic, PFAs, fluoride, chlorine, nitrates, and many more. Now, as far as the, the mineralized uh, alkaline water, so which is cool, it's alkaline as well, uh, it, uh, it says here as far as taste, and I'll uh, taste that here in a moment for both. If you love the mineral taste of water, similar to Evian or Arrowhead, uh, and the healthy benefits of alkaline water, our newest filter is made just for you. It creates alkaline water and adds in healthy magnesium to quench your thirst, replaces the classic carbon VOC filter, and has 600 gallons of life. If you prefer non-minerals, uh, it does have that crisp mineral-free taste, water similar to brands like Aquafina or Smart Water, and we think you'll love our classic carbon VOC filter instead. So let's go ahead and do a taste test here for a moment. We'll go ahead and this one does not have the uh, the minerals, so we'll taste that. And you know, it's it's gonna just be nice, crispy, and, and fresh tasting. Good tasting uh, water. You can always add minerals if you prefer. So let's see if I can really notice a difference between the two. Now we'll go ahead and pour the one with the minerals. Um, but it, you definitely can uh, taste uh, the, the the water. It does have a, a little distinguished flavor to it. Some people just don't like the mineral option. I don't mind it because um, I use minerals anyway. And but you could definitely taste uh, it being more crisp um, without the taste. Now I have a little bit of an aftertaste in my mouth from the one with the minerals. I, I still probably would continue to go with that option uh, moving forward. Now, as far as uh, these two units, again, they were great. A uh, couple of things to, to keep in mind with the classic with and without the, the uh, having the app is the connect is that with the spout, you only have so much room underneath here. So you may actually, if you're putting it on the counter, you're gonna to have to move it up a little bit and they have something that you could slide back and forth. I don't have it. I generally you know, put it on the back counter and I leave the spout hanging underneath. So when I need to pour more water uh, into here, into the carafe, then uh, doesn't have any issues. The other thing too is when you're done pouring, it does also, as you'll see here, so if I'm starting to pour, there is a slight uh, still delay where a little excess is going to come out. So something to think about uh, as well. Uh, let me just see, I think it's on. So you can see it filters. And let me just, there we go. This uh, outlet is a little loose. So now it's, it's filtering because it reaches, it reached lower below that indicator to let it know that it needs to filter the tank. So uh, with the carafe, you're going to have to be dependent upon using the carafe. You also have the smaller capacity. So if I had an option for, you know, using both, if I were now that I, now that I've had an opportunity to use both systems, I would use the classic and I'd go with the connect because I like the fact that you can get your own carafe and you have a larger capacity and that would just, I don't know, I think it just, for me, I, I like the option versus, you know, having to depend on the craft because if I have a glass and I don't want cold water, I just want room temperature water, I can go with that option as well. So you got the, the best of both worlds there. So that's my thoughts. Uh, they, they both are great ways to go. Uh, you could check out the pricing on both, any promotions. But uh, I do like the uh, both systems and, uh, you know, hope this video is of help to you. Again, check out the links uh, for both the uh, website where you can check out any promotions, also uh, for the videos that I've done. 
and uh, if you want to get into a deeper dive, especially with the Connect and how the app works and all that good stuff. So I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. We'll see you on the next one. Have a healthy day and make sure to drink good, healthy reverse osmosis water. Take care.